No, you don't have to have a hotel or an apartment in order to make money from Booking.com. And it's all because they've got a really good affiliate program. Everybody knows how affiliate marketing works. You just lead the traffic, company gives you the commission, right? But I chose Booking.com because of this. They've got progressive commission structure, all right? Nobody else has this, not even Airbnb. This means that the more bookings made through your affiliate link, the higher your commission percentage is. That's just beautiful because you have the option to progress. You have option to grow. You can just get more and more money as you get more experience. That's really, really rewarding for us. But let's actually just take a look at what this is and what they offer. So it's the usual affiliate marketing. You convert the traffic into revenue. And I'm going to share with you how you can just get this traffic and which platforms to use because it's really simple you know in a nutshell you just have to drive the traffic from your link to booking and if they make a reservation of anything at all you get a commission it can be accommodations it can be even flights and it can be car rental even airport taxis but of course the accommodation is going to give you the most amount of money but you have to know a few things you have to choose the platforms right and you have to create the content. Now, don't worry, you don't have to create like crazy content, you don't have to create like travel vlog or you don't have to travel anywhere. In fact, I'm just gonna show you how you can create the content even for free if you want it that way. It is gonna require a bit more work from your side, but it can be done for free as well. First of all, you gotta register, you know, the usual registration, some your basic information, that's it. Then of course, you've got yourself an affiliate link and then you choose your platform of choice. Now, the best ones are YouTube and blog. If you want to make yourself a blog, that's gonna be the best way. And YouTube can be something on top of it. So in a nutshell, I recommend using both. But until you get everything sorted out, I recommend starting with blog. And here's why. A lot of people, when they just want to travel somewhere, they just type in the Google something like this. So if I wanted to travel to New York, this is what I'm going to type in. You've done it before. Everybody does this. If you want to travel somewhere, you do some research, right? And what to use other than Google. And of course, the first results are going to be blogs. So I do recommend WordPress. You don't have to use it, of course. I'm not affiliating for them. That's just one solution which I like. But have a look at what happens. If I just type in this in the Google search bar, I will get a lot of these people that are battling for the SEO. And if I click on one of these, of course, I'm gonna get some generic information about New York and locations. I mean, everybody knows that you gotta visit this statue, right? I mean, that's just too easy to make, all right? The content generation, you know, this side of running a blog is really easy. I'm gonna just give you a link for a little tool that can help you with that. But what happens here is that, as you can see, these are all affiliate links. As you can see, take your pick of the coolest Airbnbs in the NYC. What's gonna happen if I click on it? Well, I'm gonna make a reservation of something and they will get a commission because they have driven me there. Pretty easy concept. And you can see that this is full of affiliate links. And all of these are doing that, all right? They don't care if I'm gonna have a good time in New York or if I'm gonna visit, I don't know, the Manhattan or whatever. They just don't care about that. They just wanna make money and that's what you should do. But in order to do that, you just have to see what they're doing, all right? So just go and do a little bit of a research. Go and see because this is what people use. Even if they just see a location on Instagram, you know, they will go over to Google or YouTube, which is another Google, and they want to know where they are going and they want to see some pictures or some videos. Have a look at this YouTube channel. This YouTube channel is called Travel by Three Girls, and what they're doing, they're just putting the pictures. So they don't even create the videos, all right? So they don't even create the videos. They just put like pictures in there, all right? So it's just pictures, a slideshow, you know? Don't make you swear and have a look at this. Popular videos. 49k views, 36k views, 31k views. Some of you might say that this is too low. No, it's not because the conversion rate, let's say like five to 10%, that's just good money. And if you head over to similar web, they've got some money from YouTube as well. I mean, it's not a lot, but it's on top of it. This will go down and up like as you get many views or like you don't get any views, but you have 
two sources of income. And if you connect your blog with it, well, that's a win-win combination. Trust me, don't get me wrong. This is not going to be easy. It's not going to be like get rich quick scheme or whatever these people like telling you. It's not going to be like easy. You got to work for it. You know, you got to work hard to get to a place where you can relax. But after it, it's just going to be a breeze. What's the most difficult about this one is to battle with all of these people. All right, to battle for the SEO. For that, you can use Google Trends and you can just explore the keywords and you can just get the analytics from every country in the world and you will see what people are searching for and you can just battle for it. I mean, it's not a battle of some sort. You just have to get the right keywords in the title and in the text, you know. You know what I'm talking about. If you don't want to struggle with it, you can always hire someone to make your blog perfect when it comes to SEO. And some of these, well, they will not rip you off. Some of these are really good for low amount of money. Now let's just cool down and let's talk about some cons because there are cons, of course, just like in any other business. The biggest one for me is that potential guests may make many cancellations. That's just what happens. Even if they click on your link, even if they just like are driven to the booking.com website through your affiliate link, it might happen that they will just cancel and you will you will not receive commission as well because Booking will not make money and that apartment will not make money. So no one makes money. That's just the way it is. Now, this one, I don't think it's true. They say that some readers may not be familiar with Booking.com and may not trust the site. Judging from this, well, it's just not going to happen. Booking.com is popular. Everybody knows about that, especially in the Europe. But this is a problem, at least for me. Well, you just have to get to 100 euros or just $100 and then you can just make the payment to you. This is hard, especially if you're just starting out. If you paid the SEO guy, if you paid to someone to write your blog posts, well, just waiting for this money, sometimes it can be hard for someone. So just have this in mind. Now, when it comes to content generation on the website, I just suggest using perplexity.ai and it's just another like chatbot and it'll give you a lot of info, whatever you type in it. It's way better than ChatGPT and the only reason for that is that it can search online. All right. So it is not limited to like 2021 or something like that. It can give you the actual information that is currently on Google and that is really, really good. So for example, if you just go over and let me just take this like history of Argentina it'll give you like the answer that you were looking for but also you will get this so you get some references and these are the links where like perplexity went on to do the research and they will give you like all of this so you can just double check the information you can see where the bot went to do the research and you can just add a lot of these things into your blog post. But as I've told you, consistency and working on SEO is going to be the most difficult part of this and the one that you have to invest a lot of time into it. Or if you just want to invest money, you can just pay someone to do that for you. Anyways, you will not get $1,000 the next week. It's not going to happen. You have to work for it, but it's a good program especially because they have like this progressive commission structure and it's a really good thing for anyone because you can just make this like your own business. So for example, the first month you get like 10%, then you go over to 15, 20, and then just more money, you know? So choose your platforms, choose your traffic driver, whatever, and then just work on it, you know? Consistency and patience. And of course, hard work, just like anything else. It can't pay, so wish you good luck. I'll catch you.